Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Draven, the Glorious Executioner. Draven is a ranged physical carry built around throwing and catching spinning axes. Through his gameplay, Draven can dish out tons of damage and dominate a game. Draven's passive is Wicked Blades. Every time Draven lands a critical strike, his target starts bleeding, taking bonus damage over a few seconds. Spinning Axe causes Draven's next basic attack to deal bonus damage, apply Wicked Blades automatically, and ricochet off of his target. If Draven catches this ricocheted axe, his next basic attack will automatically throw another Spinning Axe. If Draven throws and catches axes long enough, he can have up to two Spinning Axes at once. Spinning Axe will lead Draven, so if he's standing still it will fall close by, and if he's running it will fall along his path. As Draven's main damage tool, I take Spinning Axe at level 1 and max it immediately. Doesn't get better Blood Rush that. grants Draven bonus movement and attack speed for a few seconds. If Draven catches Spinning Axe, Blood Rush's cooldown is immediately refreshed. As a major steroid and damage increase, I take 1 point in Blood Rush early and max it by level 13. Stand Aside throws Draven's axes in a line, damaging, slowing, and knocking aside all enemies they hit. Mostly providing utility, I take 1 point and stand aside early, but max it only by level 18. Draven's ultimate is Whirling Death. Draven throws two massive axes across the map, damaging all enemies they strike. If Whirling Death hits the edge of the map, an enemy champion, or Draven reactivates the ability early, these axes reverse direction and damage all enemies they encounter on the way back to Draven. As with all ultimates, I take Whirling Death at level 6, 11, and 16. In early laning, try to harass your opponents by hitting as many spinning axes as possible. Use Blood Rush to catch them as they fall, or guide them by heading somewhere safe before spinning axe hits an opponent. Be aware that Wicked Blades will cause the turret to focus you, so stay out of range and harass as much as possible, constantly guiding spinning axe into safe zones to catch. In lane, sit with one spinning axe while last hitting minions, and keep catching it until you're ready to engage in battle. Draven heads in on Ezreal but doesn't fully commit because of Alistair. After Alistair uses his stun, Draven activates his second spinning axe. Keep Blood Rush active after every catch and keep throwing spinning axes. Alistair dies to Wicked Blades and Cleanse keeps Draven from falling to Ignite for a clean kill in bottom lane. When fighting against Draven in lane, crowd control is your best friend. As Draven opens onto Ezreal with Spinning Axe, Alistair rushes in with Headbutt and Pulverize, completely stopping the push. Draven gets into a battle with Malphite. Slowing with Stand Aside while constantly landing Spinning Axe and reactivating Blood Rush drops Malphite's health pool extremely low. As Malphite runs away, Draven leads him with Whirling Death. While Malphite attempts to juke upward to escape the return blow, Draven does the same, making Whirling Death curl upward and still pick up the kill. Draven is exceptional at cleaning up fights. As he gets into a battle, he finds Renekton low, picking him up with Whirling Death and a flash into a basic attack. Draven turns to hunt Alistair, hitting Blood Rush to catch up and prepare Spinning Axe. Constantly throwing and catching Spinning Axes allows Draven to continue Blood Rush, picking up two kills in the fight. In a team fight, Draven's first priority is positioning. Even though he could cleanly hit Shivana, he runs back behind his team until he can attack enemies from safety. This allows him to chase Shivana while catching Spinning Axes, and then turn his attention to Rumble. Spinning Axe picks up a kill, but instead of turning back to catch it, Draven charges forward to assist in the team fight. His team picks up the kill on Lulu, and he heads in to chase down Ari. Udyr leads the charge and stuns her underneath her turret, while Draven is able to assist in the fourth kill of the fight. To deal damage on the run, Draven hits champions with Spinning Axes, then turns so he can keep his distance from enemies, activating Blood Rush to speed up the process. Shivana is pushed away, and then Draven turns to focus on Rumble. After Rumble falls, he keeps up with his team until finding Ari overextended. He hits Ari with Stand Aside into Spinning Axe and a basic attack. Ari falls to Wicked Blades, and Draven comes out with a double kill. While normally Draven should catch Spinning Axes, do not turn to catch them in front of the enemy team. Draven turns to kill some minions with Spinning Axe. Unfortunately, walking back to catch one puts him right in range of Urgot, which gets him swapped and immediately killed. 
I recommend building Draven for physical damage output, with a splash of durability for small skirmishes where you'll end up taking damage. For runes, I recommend flat attack damage marks, flat armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and flat attack damage quintessences. For masteries, I recommend 2190, focusing on physical damage increases in offense, plus bonus armor and health in defense. I recommend cleanse and flash for summoner spells, which will let you take out enemies and escape sticky situations. In classic, I recommend opening with boots of speed and health potions. Take two Doran's Blades and add Berserker's Greaves. Buy Infinity Edge and add a Vampiric Scepter immediately after. From here, take Phantom Dancer, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, and Guardian Angel to round out your build. In Dominion, I recommend opening with Boots of Speed, Prospector's Blade, and Health Potions. Add Berserker's Greaves, Infinity Edge, and a Vampiric Scepter before finishing your build with Phantom Dancer, Sanguine Blade, Last Whisper, and Frozen Mallet. Thanks for tuning in to the Draven Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video.